Hey there everyone, this is Rao Kao, and yes, it is PPR, back in action! Uh, as y'all know, I got a new microphone, and uh, as you might not have known, Fraps doesn't know this, and I cannot seem to convince the thing that perhaps we should be using another audio recording device, so, uh, well... Well, unfortunately, I discovered that after recording, and I can't, like, fix it after the facts either, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do in the futures, but anyways, uh, this room. This room, this room, this room. Now, one thing you gotta remember is that stuff tends to be easier to grasp when you're not actually playing. I think this is because when you're playing the game, you also, uh, like, like, when you're just watching, you don't have to do any of the physical navigation. All the little hops and all the little details you always have to look for and measure and compare that you don't actually have to do when you're just watching the thing. I think that's the main difference between um, watching a puzzle and trying to play it. Another thing is, I forget, but yeah, this, this thing's in a puzzle I have solved like completely outside. Uh, and it's so simple, really, because all you gotta do is uh like i uh, like 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 see see now i don't know why i'm pausing there i don't know what i was saying i didn't press this i didn't press the star so i'm supposed to press the star switch oh cow you gotta press it why are you an idiot okay <laughs> i don't know why i'm an idiot but it looks like it cannot be always held in here i move it and it's not like i don't know what i'm doing Oh no, right, right, I, I don't want, I did not want, that would have been a mistake. Well, uh, I'm trying to say things, but I got a lot of things, but I'm all mixed up too, because this place still mixed me up a bit. There's a lot of stuff you gotta do in a very precise amount of time. Um, and I did eventually, spoiler. <laughs> uh, yeah, and um, stuff, and I, I wanted to say something, but I forget more. But what you had to do? Well, anyways, I kind of figured out the puzzle, like, outside the game. But, uh, the problem is that, like, there, I think I... I don't... I, why do I keep not pressing the black switch? There you go! But I think that the block was still too much on the yellow block and did not fall. Yeah, it needs to be fully on the black. Uh, I discovered it after dinner in a completely unrelated amount of space-time. And I was thinking about all the pieces independently, and I finally figured out why those black switches was there. Is to be able to go on the other side and be able to do this. Of course, there I kind of screwed up, because you gotta press... Basically, you gotta press the blue P switch, and then you kind of like go over the world. You got plenty of time, the blue switches last for like forever and a half. I think I'm gonna show two loops here or something. Because, you know... I, I like to show my process. The reason why I like to make a, um, a an episode zero, even if there's no progress per se, is because I kind of like to give peeps an idea of my um, my thought pattern, if if you can call it that. I suppose some people would argue, but you know, like give an idea why am I doing it? Like like, like I could just scrap the whole thing and make a video about just me clearing the thing, but I think that... Well, I'm just abusing the word thing here. But I think that just doing that kind of, like, kind of removes the play part of the Let's Play, you know? I like... I, I like when Let's Plays are not afraid to show mistakes and show a process of playing, because playing is not just jumping right at the solution. It's a lot more comp. Playing is mis making mistakes and making stupid things and screwing up and finding the solution after some effort. Maybe that's just me, I don't know, but here I just screwed everything up royally and I was like, oh no, I don't understand what you're supposed to do. Well, not that bad. I didn't ball anywhere, let's be honest here. But, um, that thing is stuck. You can't get it back up. Oh man, you sure got yourself in a sticky pickle, cow cow! Then we got some editing where, uh, you know, <laughs> I think after two failed loops, you're ready to do some editing. I'm pretty sure I was explaining some important things, but I'm pretty sure also that uh, the other magic of post-production I have 
said what I was attempting to say there in a fraction of the time. It's all about doing things in the right point in time, and that's not it's that's not the right time. Uh, no, don't make the same mistake. You can no, don't do no 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 don't 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 please rem no. <sighs> You made exact, exact, exact same mistake you did the other time. Well, okay, another version of that mistake is like, Well, I can't get down to the P-Switch. What am I going to do? Oh, no! Like, really? What, what do you expect to accomplish there, Raukel? Like, really now? <laughs> oh, this is kind of pathetic. Oh, hey, we got a very subtle editing cut there. And uh, we're gonna be doing that again in the proper order this time. I hope. I mean, we're 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 part way through the video here, so checking things out, taking your time. Do you, no, no, no! Don't get that down there. If you get that that guy down there, you won't be able to come back. Here, I want to make sure to see if the blue switch could be hit with the, the switch bomb and can. So we go in super rave mode, super town action, town, 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 the town, town, town. Or at the very least, uh, super fast forward. The blue switch, the time it gives you is insanely generous. Um, because it's not like, like, like getting stuck with the bomb in the time isn't supposed to be like a big part of the difficulty. It's basically just supposed because, you know, that's how blue switches work in this game. So now, okay, now you can look at things like, okay, what do I do? Now I can put that down here. It's gonna fall, it's gonna fall, right? It's gonna fall, yes. Yeah. So we'll just make sure, you know, make sure that it's not gonna overlap with anything. Boop! Now it has fell, can look that it fell. Now we can use the switches of black to make it all the way across. Then we teleport, and then we grab the key. But then what do we do? See, now here I was all elated, all, all shaped like hooray and bunny rabbits, but I'm like... How do I get back? You need the yellow switch to get back on that side, but that nasty little yellow switch does not is not a friendly sort and blocks your way. There is a puzzle after the puzzle in this puzzle game. Can you believe it? So uh, have a, a bit of flailing around, desperate to try and find out what the hell I'm supposed to be doing here. It's a good question. Man, Inari kicks up a lot of dust when she jumps. I don't know what to think about that. So, yeah, by doing that, you can reopen the pathways up there. I don't think you can make that jump there, but it's beside the point. First thing you gotta do, actually, here, I, I is, um, repress the switch. So you can repress the yellow. Do you wanna repress the yellow? I don't think you wanna repress the yellow, actually. I don't know if I am... Yes, you do want to repress the yellow. You gotta repress the yellow, and to do that, you're gonna have to warp. You also want to turn off the red. Basically, you know, when you got in this room, all the switches were off. So it's only polite that when you come back, you turn off all the switches. And uh, then you just get down there, and guess what you gotta do? Guess what you gotta do? You just gotta do a little bit of a drill there. I don't know if that's the actual intended solution, because it seems kind of fake, but it works. So, you know, I'm not gonna complain, it works. Kind of, if you're generous. <laughs> and there we go, we get burned by flame and we don't even care. And I don't know whether, no, I knew, yeah, I'm gonna do the red. The, the, the fourth mini core is very different than the others. Uh, mainly because, and you're gonna see in due time, you get to run on Spike, and then they give you like that one moment to get to use the statue form that otherwise isn't that useful, honestly. You're like, okay, now here there's like a slew of enemies, enemies everywhere, and they're full with hay, and hair, and body odor, and the key's right there, and the switch is just there. The switch to get back up that wall. Basically, you are right. This room isn't actually about a puzzle, but about dealing around enemies, which is very rare in this game. And it's kind of surprising. It's like, okay, your task on this level is actually to make it through this thing alive. And I think that's just... just pretty darn gosh tootin'. 
And uh, I'm aware that I got a healing item. However, I uh, I explained that live back then, so I'm gonna explain it now, I suppose. Don't know why I'm waiting after that, because the yellow switch is open for plenty of time. You don't actually have to wait for it. This is me, well, not knowing what's coming up, admittedly. Um, and also have a bomb in your face for a scant half a second. But yeah, uh, 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 it's rare in this game that the thing is about all about dealing with enemies. And yeah, 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 that's right. And because of that, that's why I didn't want to use the healing item. Because you see, like, they made this thing all about, you know, surviving. So I figured, I, I, I'm gonna play your game, game. You know, game, game, the video game. I'm gonna play you, I'm gonna follow your rule. You wanna make a thing about dodging stuff? Awesome. I'm gonna do it. Badly at first, because I gotta learn my way. But, uh... Like, to me, that's super fun, and I, I like the idea, and I, I don't want to quote-unquote ruin it by using a, uh, basically the equivalent of a knee tank. Although, I still think that, you know, it's, it's like, it's like, it's like, yeah, basically the whole level is all about positioning yourself to dodge the thing, because Neneri isn't super fast, but she is extremely mobile, uh, secretly, especially with the drill. And it's something you, 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 the, the game does well. I see it doesn't exploit a whole much. I'm gonna wager that once we get to the extra world, I'm going to regret this word, and it's gonna be like super execution heavy top style super farmland. But um, until then, I'm not even gonna press a yellow. S oh yeah, I did press a yellow switch. I don't know why I thought. It oh, because I put a bomb. I am so great. At paying attention to what is going on. Well, also, we don't have the sound effects, but... DETAILS! <laughs> you didn't even notice until I said it there. So here's like, oh man, am I gonna survive? I use my, my regular flavor of strategy of hitting every single thing. I made it anyway, so who cares? <laughs> and we got it! We got all the keys now! It's only a question, how do you get anywhere? Honestly, I don't really know. Uh, and that's what we're gonna be figuring out next time, I reckon, because there I just get back upstairs, and I save, and that's gonna be it. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure how you get inside that core exactly. I haven't actually looked all that hard, to be honest, so, so you know, maybe it's super obvious. Also, you can't stop the dash boots, as far as I can tell, once, once, you, once you're on. Always a good time. But, uh, yeah, not sure what to do from here, basically. And that's something we're gonna discover next time together. Hooray! The core is like a moor. It's like an antenna and it's like an ostrich. They're all words that can be described using words. This is PPR standing in for Rao Cow, and see y'all next time! Ba 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 ba!